So you sort of backed into this note thing. It sounded like you had that deal to where, uh, you know, you're wanting to sell it for 50, but the way to make the profit is you're actually having to carry financing to make that profit, right? Well, that's true. But here's the funny part about this, Jay, is that I didn't even think to ask if she had a buyer for $50,000. Didn't even think about asking that question because I guarantee if I would have asked it, she probably would have said yes. And we probably wouldn't be sitting here on this on this show right now because I would probably still be a wholesaling and not understand what I know today about creative deal structuring. So, you know, with that said, I said, and I, so I did that deal and sort of to go to what you were just alluding to. So I go, hey, Lydia, how do you, uh, I mean, how many buyers do you, I didn't even have $25,000 cash, Jay, that I could be responsible with, that I that I couldn't be non not responsible with. And I said, tell me, I go, how many people do you have that got $25,000 cash? That was the number in my head because this is where people, I think, make the mistake. They assume a lot of things that they shouldn't be assuming because they're using their own mindset and not what really is reality. And I said, how many do you have, Lydia? And she, she gets us literally this book out, Jay, and it's page after page after page after page of name, phone number, and cash they have to put down on properties. And I'm seeing numbers like 30000 40000 hundred thousand dollars and right then i stopped thinking that i knew what other people had the capacity to do because i kept putting them in the same box that i was in i didn't have a hundred thousand dollars i didn't have fifty thousand dollars cash to go do it and that's what we that's what we learn and that's what i try to teach wholesalers today is that don't and the same thing holds true in wholesaling is that don't assume that a seller wants cash for their house you think they want cash because that's how you think you're going to get the deal done because it's a transactional model for most wholesalers but there's just as many deals to be done that are not 100% cash. And that's what we try to do is create more of a hybrid model. And that's why the notes is such a valuable tool for us because we can get some cash now and we can get some cash at some other point in the future. Plus we can get cash flow in the middle, which I know you're uh, a big fan of.